Hello everybody, Owen Azuris here, and we are going to continue our playthrough of Tales of Magial. Last time we went to Trollmire and beat the main boss there. There is an optional boss that you can fight if you go and collect all those lore scraps. It'll open up another way, but that guy's a little too hard for us right now. Then we stopped by town. All the stuff in town is way too expensive for me. Currently we're level 4, a halfling rogue. Continue going. And hit play here. Get a little bit of flavor text telling us about the world. There are currently two expansions to this game that really build upon the game and the lore. There's lots of lore in this game. If you like lore and well thought out games, and this is probably the right game for you. is probably one of the best roguelikes on the market today. And I said I don't have enough money. Let me make sure I don't have enough money for anything. Let me remember where it shows my money. Okay, I don't for a life of me remember where it shows my money. Let's go to a store and they should tell me in the store. Uh, 28 gold, and that is not enough to buy any of this stuff, and weaponry is just going to be even more expensive. So, let us show our quest that we are on. Show known landmarks, okay. Character sheet here. played this out oh, journal J for journal so we still have to explore the runes of Corpol and find out what treasures are there now that might be game over because the boss there is the shade usually now this game is pretty cool depending on sometimes when you activate parts of the story like parts of the map will change cities will get destroyed as you progress in the game one city gets attacked, and it actually changes what some of the bosses are. Sometimes if you pick a different race or class, you start in a different area, and you'll fight slightly different bosses, depending on when you go. So here are the runes of Corpole, or Corpole. And the boss here, usually it's a shade, which kind of makes sense, because it's the runes of Carpole, which kind of sounds like corporeal. kind of throws you off because we start fighting all these enemies and it's pretty easy. Got my throwing knives here. My dual attacks. And I hopefully will gain a level here because I am real close to doing that. And there are a lot of enemies here. Skeleton mage hit me. Is that a rattles large brown snake? And I leveled up. So I get three stat points. Let's do one point dexterity since I am a rogue. Some cunning. Let's improve my constitution as well. Talent. Let's do tempo. We've got another class point here. Let's do expose weakness. Yeah, accept those changes. So what did I get here? Some of my skills. I hate when I haven't played in a while and I forget how to do things. I thought 
EST just clicked right up here. Guess not. Game log. Uh, character sheet, attack, defense, talents. Yeah, let's look here real quick. So I got tempo. Which lets me do stuff. It's passive. And then I got this other ability, Expose Weakness. Focus on a single target, pro perform probing attack to find flaws, striking your melee weapon for 45 or 95 percent damage for four turns afterwards, your attack against the target are effective. Okay, so it, basically you do a weaker attack, barely weaker, just 95 percent, and it lets you do more damage to a target. Alright, what was all that? Protective horror there. Oh. And who is attacking? Okay, so now we got one of these rare monsters that have names and are usually pretty deadly. This is Noretta the Giant Grey Rat. Anything can be a rare monster, it seems, because I've even encountered like rare beehives. Oh, shoot. We need to get first aid here. Kill that, and is this guy summoning creatures? Yes, he is. <sighs> Tip him with probe weakness. Okay, we killed a nice gray rat there. Start regenerating some health. giant mall is not going to help me, but I might be able to sell it for a little bit of money. I haven't played this game in a while. I forgot how much fun it is. I mean, I didn't forget how much fun it is. I remember it's a great game. So this is the vault. Probably has a powerful monster here. It does. And this powerful monster is going to kill me, isn't he? Yeah. Oh shoot, I did unequip this other dagger. No, I don't want to reply. He's going to kill me because of that. I did not realize I accidentally unequipped this dagger. He's at 92 health. I should not have opened this vault door. And that is it for my character. I didn't even get to the shade. The vaults in this game have really powerful monsters in it. kind of wanted to show it off for the purposes of this game. But, I mean, just looking here, there were some really good items in that area. So... That is it for my level 5 Halfling Rogue. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
remember to subscribe to the channel. We have new episodes of me playing roguelikes every Wednesday and Saturday. Sometimes I'm successful and do well, like I did Wednesday when I beat that troll and made it to town. That troll is a frequent killer of people starting this game. And then sometimes I get greedy and try to open a vault that I really shouldn't have, and a skeleton kills me. That's what happened today. So if you have any suggestions on games to try out, make sure you send those to me. You can tweet me. My Twitter address is listed on YouTube page, Owen Azuras. You can also send me a message in this game. You can Not in the game, but on the YouTube channel. You can send me a message just general on YouTube. Check out my Tumblr blog. Tweet me. Anything you want. Uh, if it's a free game, then I'll most definitely check it out after a while. If it's a game you have to pay for, like some of the games on Steam, then you know, sometimes I'll wait for a sale if I'm not 100% sure about the game. Sometimes I'll try to research it and find out. So, next week we'll be playing a different game. And I will see you then. Have a wonderful day.